What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality. UFC Greenville North South Fort C. UFC from Greenville, South Carolina just happened, headlined by the Korean Zombie, uh, Chan Sung Jung versus Hanato Moikano. Uh, was a headliner, it was a quick finish by the Korean Zombie. Uh, I had made picks last week, but I never wrote them down. And I, I kind of tired of making picks because some of these cards I'm just kind of guessing. And I don't, I, like, I'm just going to talk. I'm just going to talk about. The fights that I found interesting in this last card, and then I'm going to talk about some fights I find interesting in the upcoming card. Uh, but I'm not going to be doing the picks and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I didn't get a chance to watch the prelims uh, for this card. I heard they, they were amazing, uh, although it looks like from here they were mostly decisions, but I guess there was a couple uh, KOs, TKOs. Uh, with. Looking forward to going back and watching that early, those early prelims. Might actually do that while I'm editing this week's uh, episodes. But uh, so I didn't get to watch some of those. But the uh, the main card I thought was fine. Uh, Kevin Holland versus uh, Lesio Di Chirico. Uh, Kevin Holland coming from the Dana White Contender Series, which I watched the first of the Dana White Contender Series also. Uh, was a fun card. Not there was a couple exciting knockouts, but it, it, I don't know. There wasn't like it wasn't crazy. It wasn't a crazy card, but it was. It's nice to see the Tuesday night contender series series coming back. And uh, I think there was way too much drama made for one of the fighters who didn't get a contract because he went for a a, a late takedown. And uh, it's I think it's uh, like if you're watching the show, you understand what the show's trying to do. It's like a slightly different format. It's called Dana White's Contender Series. Dana White chooses who he's going to basically, you know, assign to the UFC. Uh, so he can, you know, he chooses what he likes to see most in a fighter. And that is fucking putting it all out there, not playing it safe fucking going out for the kill, being exciting, and uh, t having a late round takedown. It's like just because you win in Dana White's Contender Series doesn't mean you're getting a contract. I think if you're, if, you're, if you're scheduled to fight in a Dana White Contender Series fight, you should know the, what Dana White is looking for. Right? You should know what the person you're going to work for is looking for in a fighter. And it's... You know, and getting a win isn't what works. Um, it helps if you're in a weight class like heavyweight where they just need fighters. So anybody that kind of has any kind of excitement usually gets signed uh, unless it's a fucking crazy card. Um, but I thought that was way too much made over one of the fighters not getting it. Uh, but I, I, I don't even know his name. I, I, don't, I didn't bring up that information. Um, but it was fun. Uh, and then, so back to the Greenville card, um, Kevin Holland coming from that show looked good, although look, he busted his shoulder in the first round, I think it was, and uh, just wasn't able to throw his right hand, wasn't able to do much, but still won in a decision. Um, I thought it was a good fight. I'm excited to see him. I mean, he's young, uh, but he's like super talented as long as he stays healthy. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. Then there was a women's flyway, Andrea Lee versus uh, De La Rosa. Uh, Lee looked good in that one as well. Um, and Andre Ewell versus Anderson Dos Santos was a fun card. You know, back and forth. Barbarina, I thought, was going to win. But Randy Brown just put it on him. Uh, it was the body shots. I mean, he was landing a lot of shots overall, Randy Brown was. but And Barbarina eats punches to the head like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and uh just keeps coming forward uh but randy brown worked the body a lot and was able to get uh the finish that way which was uh, a good fight and then korean zombie comes out and early first round throws an overhand right that just almost completely destroys moicano but was then you know mounted and finished uh, with punches so overall fun card i love korean zombie excited to see who he fights next in the featherweight division uh, kind of an interesting division right now some shuffling going on 
uh, Max Holloway may be uh, a future contender for, you know, interesting fight. I would love to see. Chan Sung Jung wins a fight, one more fight, I would imagine, maybe two more fights. I could see him fighting for the belt, and I would love to see him fight uh, Max Holloway, assuming Max Holloway beats Frankie Edgar, um, which that one I'm excited for and nervous for because I enjoy both of those fighters. Uh, but that's it from the Greenville card. Uh, I enjoyed the card very much. Uh, it was fun. And looking forward to re-watching the prelim fights for that card. But moving on to UFC from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Uh, this is an ESPN card. Um, headlined by Francis Ngannou versus Junior Dos Santos for probably uh, number one contender place. Uh, number one contender fight. Francis Ngannou uh, looked horrible against Stipe. Uh, kind of took a few fights to get back on track, and he's kind of back on track now, knocking people out. Um, a fun matchup. I mean, Dos Santos it, it loves to stand and bang, too. They're both heavy punchers. Uh, I think if it's going to be a punching, like if, if Junior Dos Santos has a smart game plan, it's going to be to clinch uh, with Fra if, try and get Francis Ngannou down, like even clinching with him. Uh, is scary. Anytime he can get any kind of movement in his hips to throw a punch, like I don't even think his feet need to be on the ground. He just needs to have movement in his hips enough or just his arm, really. I mean, I, he might just be able to knock people out just with the movement in his shoulder. Um, but I think Francis is going to win that one. If I had to pick, um, I think Francis is going to do it. I just think Younger, the, the style-wise, I think it's, it's more, more on Nganu's power. I mean, they both hit hard, but I've never seen... I don't even think we've seen Nganu hurt in a fight. He's been tired, for sure, but you know, I don't think we've seen him rocked. And Dos Santos has been knocked out a couple times. Uh, I just think Nganu's going to get it. Um, Benavidez versus Formiga, flyweight fight. I don't know. Benavidez. Maya versus uh, Rocco Martin. Um, for sure, Maya. Unless, you know, maybe this is a retirement fight for Maya, maybe. I, I think he lost his last one. Um, Drew Dober. Paul Craig. Paul Craig's kind of one of those fighters that I was excited about. Um, but he's just been disappointing, man. Been disappointing. Hasn't looked amazing. Um, is he up at, or maybe I'm thinking of somebody else. Uh, Paul Craig. No, that's it. But, uh, right? No, he just came off. He, I guess. No, I'm thinking, I don't know. He's, he actually has looked pretty good. Um, I'm thinking of somebody else. So maybe Paul Craig will pull it off. I'm looking forward to the fights. It looks like a fun card. Uh, we got a pay per view, I believe, coming up in the week after. Uh, so that I'm sure is a stacked card as well. Maybe, uh, this is a fight. Is it the summer, the, the fight week, international fight week coming up? That card's coming up. Uh, bare knuckle boxing just happened and Paul, Paul Naji, Polly Malinaji got, uh, beat by Artem Loboff. <laughs> Artem Loboff, the guy that like just did nothing really exciting at all in the UFC He's popular as hell because he's friends with Connor, and he uses that to his advantage. Got cut from the USC, signed to bare knuckle boxing, signing against Polymo fighting Polly Malinaji, the guy that Connor brought in to help prepare him for. Which seems like a horrible decision at this point. If Polly was like, if Artem beat Polly in a, I mean, a, it's, it was a boxing match. It wasn't even like it was an MMA. It was a boxing match. They just didn't have gloves. It was bare knuckle. So it's, I mean, it's as boxing as boxing can get uh, without, it's, you know, just touching people, looking for points, which I guess Polly is, that's what he's used to. But um, happy that he lost. Uh, but that's it for this episode. New episodes daily. Subscribe on IGTV and everywhere else podcasts are found. Go to inspireddisorder.com for all of my original artwork and save 10% when you use coupon code INSPIRED at checkout. At Ray Taylor for me on all social media. Have a great day, everybody. Peace. Oh,